Robotics and AI have disrupted many industries, including healthcare. Here to discuss this trend in more detail is Chris Buck. He is a partner at Robo Global. Thanks so much for joining me today, Chris. So when it comes to disruption in the healthcare industry, it seems like an area that's pretty ripe for disruption. What is happening in that space in terms of technology making things easier for, I guess, doctors, hospitals, and patients? Well, as you know, when we launched Robo over six years ago, one of our main sectors was healthcare systems. So with hindsight, we've spent a lot of time looking at the major trends. And if you look at the healthcare system today, it's 18% of the US GDP, so it's a big number. Uh, it, it's a you know, $8 trillion market globally, and, and it's broken. Uh, we have an aging demographics, we have rising costs, uh, we have a shortage of skilled laborers, uh, so nurses, doctors, and so at the end of the day, there's a lot of innovative companies that are looking to bring down the cost, uh, they're looking to help doctors, and they're looking to derive better outcomes for patients. So we're really focused on that part of the value system, not so much what happens when you get sick, but more on the companies that try to prevent you from getting sick. Right, so uh, let's talk about that a little more in terms of the healthcare technology ETF uh, that RoboGlobal has. What buckets fall under that? Because it seems like there's a lot of different areas that health tech covers. That's right, and, and I think your, your viewers would love it. It's, it's H-Tech, so the symbol's H-T-E-C. It's Robo Global's Health Tech Technology and Innovation ETF. We launched last January or last June rather, and there's nine subsectors, of, again focused on the technology. And if you think of what AI is doing to uh, uh, the Internet of Things, there's there's an immense amount of data set that's been disconnected. Now with the digitization of medical records and doctors, we're able to apply AI as the computational processing power goes up and the costs are coming down, they're, they're able to explore new ways to, to help clients. So things like medical devices, genomics, uh, diagnostics. There's some, at the molecular level, we are now able to sequence DNA and actually prescribe and, and provide personalized medicine as opposed to, you know, you think of factory automation, you think of mass production to mass customization, similar in the Robo Global, the ticker Robo, as you know, there's, um, there's going to be mass customization of healthcare to the individual based on your own genome. So it's really exciting. Right. So speaking of, uh, what are some of the components that uh, investors will see in this ETF, some of which are top growth names that yeah. IBD also tracks. We talk about Dexcom, you know, there, there, there's a lot of companies, if you think of a car, you know, you can get in your car and you have, you know what, your gas, the tire pressure. We don't know very much about our own self. So wearables, and if you think of diabetes, there's now companies like Dexcom that are bringing down the cost and bringing up, you know, the ability to monitor yourself because, you know, type two diabetes is at record levels in the U.S. for a variety of reasons. Uh, and there's companies that, you know, monitoring yourself, uh, prescribing, you know, best health habits to, to correct some of those maladies. So it's pretty exciting.